Hello all, this video is on home automation with uh, ESP EC and Domotics. ESP EC is installed on uh, Node MCU as uh, IoT firmware and we use a 4 channel relay board as we are going to control 4 devices in this home automation project. The 4 channel relay board has got a jumper. If you are using 5 volt uh, single supply, you have to leave this jumper. If you are using both the voltages 3.3 and 5 volt, then you have to remove this jumper. A separate power source is required for this relay. Do not uh, source it from Node MCO. Uh, and uh, both the ground should be made common. That is the ground of Node MCO as well as the ground of the uh, separate power source. Both should be made common. There are four inputs to control the relays. These are all uh, low enabled uh, relays. That is when a low is applied, this relay will be on. So we are connecting IN1 to GPIO16, IN2 to GPIO14, IN3 to GPIO12 and IN4 to GPIO13. And connecting the USB to USB of PC and the uh, separate power source also switched on. The domotic service is running on my Raspberry Pi and the uh, IP address is 192.168.0.150. I access it using the port number 8080 and under setup hardware I create a dummy uh, for all the four relays first for the first relay I name it as RL1 and then type is dummy and I am clicking it on uh, add uh, similarly I am doing it for uh, other three relays RL2 type is dummy and again RL3 type dummy RL4 type dummy and finally I have to create the virtual sensors for all these relays I'm clicking on virtual sensor for RL1 and type uh, type of sensor I am selecting as, as switch and then click OK uh, similarly I have to do this for all other three sensors virtual sensors virtual sensor for RL2 uh, sensor type is switch again RL3 is uh, switch RL4 is also a switch now under uh, switches you can see all the virtual switches you have created uh, you have to edit all the switches now uh, click on the first switch rl1 click on edit you have to provide the http command as you are uh, communicating from domotics through http you have to provide the http command for on command you include the uh, esp ec ip address 192.168.0.110 followed by the control and command the first uh, gpu pin is 16 uh, comma zero for on we are using zero and for off we are using one as the relay board is uh, low enabled we use zero for on and one for off same way switch on the, for the second switch you select uh, image suppose you want to control fan you se select a fan image and uh, for on command you use that uh, uh, ESPEC IP address followed by the control and command and the GPO pin for the second relay we use the GPU 14 0 for on and 1 for uh, off same way for the third switch select an image and the command uh, include the IP address of uh, ESP EC followed by control and the command uh, GPU pin is 12 0 for on and 1 for off finally the relay for RL4 we use GPU pin 13 zero for on and one for off so we have uh, uh, configured all the four virtual switches on clicking on first oral one the concern uh, http command will be sent and let us see the uh, esp ec settings go to esp ec settings by uh, typing in the ip address of that uh, uh, esp EC inside the browser minus 192.168.0.110 and under controllers select the protocol as uh, domotics http and provide the uh, domotics uh, server ip address 192.168.0.150 and the port number 8080 and click on enable now under the hardware tab you can make the GPU pins uh, initial uh, boot state as uh, high or low. We will make it high for the pins connected to the uh, relay board. The GPU pins 16, 14, 12 and 13. Uh, we have to make it high on initial boot. But as you see from the diagram, GPU 16 is a 
by default it will be pulled high on boot so you need not do it for uh, gpo 16 you do it for other uh, three gpo pins 14 12 and 13 and from the devices tab you select uh, uh, switch select a switch and then uh, give a name it as rl1 enable it and uh, internal pull up you can uh, enable and provide the gpo pin first one is the gpo 16 as for gpo 16 uh, already that uh, it will be pulled high you need not uh, do it again and then finally enable it the idx number should be same as that of the domotics in domotics while creating switches you get idx number that same idx number should be given here if you go to domotics and check the uh, devices there you can see see the idx numbers for rl1 rl2 rl3 and rl4 same idx that is the index number should be given in the uh, esp ec now click on submit and again uh, go to devices add for the second switch provide a name as rl2 enable it and pull up internal pull up and pro give the gpo pin as gpo 14 and then provide the idx number click on submit same way do it for uh, rl3 and rl4 rl3 gpo pin is gpo 12 rl4 gpo is gpo 13 and finally click on submit now the uh, setting is ready you can test it by uh, going to the domotic server go to domotics and open the switches tab you can see all the virtual switches you have created there and click on the first switch rl1 you can see relay one on same way rl2 rl3 and rl4 you can control the uh, switches uh, that is under relevant relays from domotics and the load connected to the relay will operate accordingly in this home automation project thank you for watching